Hey guys, welcome back for another update on the sawmill shed build. This week, before we get going on anything on there, we're going to work on getting the tractor here moved out of the way. You may recall last time I used it, I kind of left the key on and killed the battery. So, we've got the truck pulled up right over here next to it. We're going to try jumping it. Then we can get that moved out of the way. We can pull the truck through here. We can pull the track loader through here if we need to. Um, it's just kind of starting to get a little bit annoying having this sitting here right in the middle of everything. Well, that didn't go quite as smoothly as planned. I think we may have some sort of a uh, fuel issue as well. You gotta love that 10% ethanol in there. Uh, it doesn't always agree well with old machines like this if they've been sitting for a little while. Uh, that can separate out a little bit and cause some issues. So I think we've got more than just a dead battery uh, giving us troubles with this. So. We'll come back to this another day and we may have to drain the fuel out and that's not going to be fun, but anyway, the show must go on. Okay guys, we are back again and we brought with us today we got a couple empty gas cans here we got our special fuel filter in here which uh, is supposed to separate out any particulates as well as if there's been any separation in the gasoline any water anything like that that's separated out and then finally here on the other side of the tractor we got five gallons of fresh clean ethanol free gasoline to put in it once we've drained all the other stuff out. Well, this is as far as I got it yesterday too and then I tried moving it and it cut out and it wouldn't start back up again so uh, I'm just gonna let this run for a little while here and uh, hopefully if there's anything in the carburetor or something that it doesn't like it'll kind of work that through and we'll see if we can't get this thing moved and today we're gonna work on cutting the uh, the posts that are gonna go at the far in there where we're gonna have that loading uh, opening at the end of the saw shed uh, we're going to cut those posts uh, get those cut to length get the angle cut on them uh, i'm going to kind of notch them in just a little bit to the uh, floor joist beneath it into the rafter above it but we'll wait to do that until we're actually putting it in uh, make sure everything lines up right with that at that point once we finish that, we're going to do a little bit of milling, and that is going to be for the pieces that run along the top of these posts.
All right, guys, that is going to be it for this week. I think you can kind of see it on the mountain behind me, but it is starting to rain, and it's not supposed to stop for, like, the rest of the evening. Uh, so I didn't quite get that front done. Um, I've got one more board left to put up there. It's cut the length. I just got to notch it out for the post, put it up there. It'll be ready to go. Uh, next week, we'll just continue on with where we left off here. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time.